News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking developments on the disappearance of five-year-old Taylor Williams. Her mother, Brianna Williams, is now charged with child neglect after investigators believe they found the little girl's remains in Alabama. This video now believed to be Brianna Williams brought into the hospital this afternoon, led by security officers. She was flown by chopper from NS Jax to UF Health for emergency treatment of an overdose of some kind. Williams is now in serious condition. This came just hours after police in Alabama confirmed the discovery of remains between the cities of Linden and Demopolis near the area where Brianna Williams grew up. In the past 30 minutes, Sheriff Mike Williams said the investigation is far from over. Along with child neglect, Brianna Williams has also been charged with giving false information to police. In the past 10 minutes, the Navy sent us a statement which reads, quote, Brianna Williams remains administratively assigned to the Tactical Operations Center. The Navy is fully cooperating with civilian authorities as they continue to investigate, end quote. We have several reporters covering the major developments. We begin with News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott, who's joining us from UF Health. Jim? You know, I was trying to talk to hospital officials about Brianna Williams' condition. At this point, they really can't talk about that, only to say that it is serious. At least that's what we're learning from our sources. In fact, what we're learning from sources is that she's actually here. The sheriff didn't specifically say that, but we saw a helicopter land and from what we witnessed, a woman being taken inside. Take a close look at this video. Sheriff Williams says Brianna Williams overdosed at NAS Jacks and she was flown by helicopter to a local hospital. We saw the helicopter land and you can see the blade on top of the roof. And then shortly afterwards, we saw the stretcher led by two security guards and others around attending to the person. Because of privacy issues, hospital officials can't confirm that this is Brianna Williams. Now, there has been a question of why would they bring her to UF Health here and not treat her at the base? Well, that's because the Sheriff's Department has secured facilities here. They have officers here. So when people are placed under arrest, which she has now been charged with a neglect crime, they can watch her. There's obviously a suicide watch going on as well. For now, we're live at UF Health. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Now to the part of the investigation going on in western Alabama where police discovered the remains believed to be Taylor Williams. The crime scene is between the cities of Demopolis and Linden. Family members had told News 4 Jax that police were focused on that area where Brianna Williams' cell phone had pinged. News 4 Jax reporter Corley Peel is joining us live from Alabama where family members are now talking with Corley about today's developments. Corley. Family members are saying that this is devastating. All week they've been hoping that Taylor Williams would be found and knowing that human remains were found here earlier. They're saying that this is heartbreaking and our news our news partner WVUA moments ago spoke with Taylor's great aunt, which is Brianna's aunt, Brianna Williams aunt, her mother, and they spoke to them in the house that Brianna Williams grew up in. This is what she has to say about today's discovery. I'm feeling a lot hurt. Yeah, it's just something. So it's unbelievable that this is going on right now. I mean, but uh, as a family, we're trying to work through it, you know, and just trying to get closer together. Now, this video shows several crews making their way into this crime scene here in a rural area in Alabama. We saw this not long after police announced that human remains were found in this wooded area. JSO Crime Seat Unit Vans and the State Bureau of Investigation, as well as several other undercover detectives have been here. And JSO says that they received a tip that drove them to search this area of Alabama. And we've learned from sources and from family members that Taylor's mother, Brianna Williams, phone pinged in this area. Again, Sheriff Williams announced moments ago during that news conference that they believe the remains found here today belong to Taylor Williams. We'll continue to keep you updated about this as soon as we know more. But if you want to take a look at this scene right now, you can see a lot of the crews have cleared out here. Now they do have some crews further up there that's going to be manning this scene tonight. But again, a lot of the crews have left from earlier this evening. But again, we'll continue to keep you updated as soon as we know more. Reporting live from Alabama, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station. Corley, Brandon Williams' hometown is Linden. How close is Linden, Alabama from these woods where you are now? 
I would say we're probably about 20 minutes away from Linden at this point. We're right smack dab in the middle between Demopolis and Linden right now. So again, this is definitely the area where Brianna Williams grew up and where a lot of her family members live. Corley Williams reporting live from Alabama. Thank you, Corley. As we mentioned a moment ago, the Navy just confirmed in News 4 Jacks, Brianna Williams remains administratively assigned to the Tactical Operations Center at NAS Jacks. News for Jacks reporter Kelly Wiley joining us live from outside the base with what we know, Kelly, about Williams over this past week. Well, we know she's been working here throughout the investigation at NES Jax, and now we know she was arrested later this evening after overdosing here at the base. We also know she's charged with child neglect so far and false giving false information to investigators. New video shows someone on a stretcher brought to UF Health led by security. It was moments after two sources told News for Jax Brianna Williams was flown to the hospital from NAS Jax. She's at the center of her five year old daughter Taylor's disappearance. According to police reports, she is the last person who saw five year old Taylor Williams in purple pajamas lying in her bed before discovering she was gone Wednesday morning. Since then, police announced they're working to figure out when the little girl was last seen alive. Investigators say her mother stopped cooperating with their investigation. She is a person of interest in this case and we still need her cooperation. Brianna Williams works at Naval Air Station Jacksonville as a petty officer first class in the Tactical Operations Center. Throughout the investigation, Navy officials said Brianna Williams was reporting to work, free to come and go. Monday, Sheriff Mike Williams said they knew Brianna Williams traveled to her home state of Alabama in the last two weeks in this black Honda Accord. Investigators didn't reveal what led them to search in Alabama, but Tuesday searchers looking for Taylor Williams discovered human remains between Brianna's hometown of Linden, Alabama and Demopolis. Neighbors say less than a week before Taylor Williams was reported missing, her mother moved from a south side apartment complex to this Brentwood home. Neighbors told News for Jax they never saw a child living there. And all of these little details that we've gotten over the week, they still matter because as the sheriff and the attorney and the um, and the state attorney's office pointed out in this press conference, they are still investigating this case, even though they've already charged Brianna Williams with child neglect and giving false information. They made note that there's still a lot of data. There's a lot of legal implications with this case, although they didn't really elaborate at all as to what they were specifically talking about, what the challenges would be going forward. So, Kelly, we know over the past few days that Brianna Williams has been staying there on the base. Do we know if she was being held there or maybe just staying with friends or coworkers? That's the question that we've been asking the Navy officials uh, all day long is, is she there to freely come and go? Was she there and she could leave when she wanted to? Or was she being held there? And even as early as this morning, Navy officials were telling us that she was just reporting to work as she would have would have without this situation being what it is. Um, but we're still unclear if that was the case later on through the day. The last information that we got, though, was that from the sheriff and from Navy officials was that uh, before this evening, she was free to leave when she wanted to. And we don't have any information to suggest that she wasn't here the entire time. All right, Kelly Wiley reporting live outside NAS Jax. Kelly, thank you. Folks, our coverage continues on newsforjax.com where we have put together a timeline of everything that has happened so far in this case. Just look inside this story on the homepage.